The teachers union in Los Angeles say that they will not go back to classroom teaching until there's a vaccine for COVID-19. They don't want to risk their lives just to babysit our kids, they tell us. Of course, they expect the grocery store to be open and fully stocked, but educating the kids is not that important. They always talk about how teachers are heroes, but it turns out that the cashier at Kroger is more courageous. MSNBC had some top pediatricians on a segment about sending kids back to school. Let's take a look at how that segment ended. Would you let your kids go back to school? I will. My kids are looking forward to it. Yes. Period. Absolutely. Absolutely. As much as I can. <laughs> Without a hesitation. Without a hesitation, yes. I have no concerns about sending my child to school in the fall. I would let my kids go back to school. Dr. John Torres, NBC News. They all said yes. They all said yes. That dude was surprised, wasn't he? But don't think for a second that their audience will be swayed by those experts. Because it's really not about the safety or well-being of the children. It's not just a vaccine they want. They have political demands, too. The United Teachers Los Angeles Union announced Friday that Los Angeles Unified District Schools effectively cannot reopen unless certain conditions are met. Privately operated, public-funded charter schools are shut down. Police are defunded. Medicare for all, government-run health care is passed. A statewide wealth tax is implemented. Housing for homeless is fully funded. Financial support for undocumented students and families. And they want a federal bailout. You see, the L.A. Teachers Union cares about teaching children as much as BLM cares about black lives. They don't care at all. They're just a political organization fighting for the Democrats and leftist policies. Let this be a lesson for all you parents. They're actually threatening to further disrupt your lives and to refuse teaching your children until their outrageous demands are met. The annual budget for LAUSD is $7.59 billion. That's equal to over $10,300 per student per year. That means a classroom of 20 students brings in over 200 k To me, it seems that right now is a good time to talk about school choice. School choice allows public education funds to follow students to the schools or services that best fit their needs, whether that's to a public school, private school, charter school, homeschool, or any other learning environment parents choose for their kids. I mean, we can't let the UTLA union treat our children this way. They're blatantly admitting that they don't care about the students. They may as well be shouting it from the rooftops. They're not only using our kids in their political fight, they're not doing an acceptable job in educating them in the first place. It's so bad that we should be threatening them. Our high school graduation rate in Los Angeles public schools is 76%. But here's the thing, less than half the students can do math and English at grade level, which means that another 25% or more probably shouldn't graduate either. That's terrible. And you guys feel like you're in a position to make demands? Come on. Look, it's not enough that the teachers union uses tens of millions of our tax dollars to fund political causes and candidates that many of us don't support. Now they're willing to hold our children's education hostage, and quite frankly, our lives, to achieve their political goals. There has never been a better case made for school choice than what's happening right now in Los Angeles. When are Democrat voters going to wake up? If you have a kid in a Los Angeles County public school, please comment on this video. I need to understand how you find this acceptable and why you wouldn't want to choose where your kid goes to school. If the money followed the student, there would be an explosion in the number of private school options for everyone. That would make class sizes smaller, and it would give low-income parents options. My daughter isn't old enough to be in school yet, but we already looked into private school options in our area. The one we're thinking about charges less than $10,000 a year for kindergarten through 6th grade, $11,000 a year for middle school, and $12,000 a year for high school. If we started doing school choice right now, this private school at its most expensive year would only cost $1,700 out of pocket. Think about that. If you're a parent that doesn't want that option, please comment on this video. I know why the teachers union doesn't want this and why they spend millions of dollars to stop it from happening, but why are you as a parent against this? Most students in the LAUSD school system are below grade level in all of their subjects. 
And the excuse they often use for not being able to successfully educate their students is that so many of them are from low-income families. But if what Joe Biden said is true... Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids, wealthy kids, black kids, Asian kids. No, I really mean it, but think how we think about it. Okay, if what Joe Biden was trying to say is true, then their family's income status isn't the issue, is it? The schools are simply not doing a good enough job. And these demands from the United Teachers Los Angeles Union makes it painfully obvious why that is. It's because their number one priority has nothing to do with educating our kids. And that's the simple truth. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a supporting member of Blue Collar Logic, click on the link in the description and give what you can. Thank you.